What is appreciative thinking? When you want to make some positive changes to your life, what do you think of first? What's going well or what's going wrong? Often, we try to make our lives better by identifying problems and then searching for solutions. Another way to look at making positive changes in your life is to implement appreciative thinking. Appreciative thinking is a way of working to create positive change by focusing on what is working well now and what you would like to see more of in the future. It is connected to a change-making process called appreciative inquiry, first developed by Dr. David Cooperrider. So, how would appreciative thinking work in practice? Let's say that I have a goal for developing a stronger community to give me more learning and social support. Rather than starting off, by thinking about what I feel is missing in my community now. I'll begin by identifying what is working. For example, I might notice that I feel supported when I attend online workshops and student events. That's a positive, and I want more of the feeling of connection I get when I do this. So my action step is to find one additional online event that I can attend this week to increase my sense of community. I also noticed that I felt a positive connection with a classmate as we wrote about a shared interest in an online class forum. There's another positive. To move further towards this positive connection, I might make a plan to send a message or an email to see if we can work together as study partners in the class. In these examples, I've identified a specific thing that is going well, and then identified one specific step to add more of this positive element to my life. Appreciative thinking does not mean that we ignore problems. Actually, it's quite the opposite. Appreciative thinking is a way of making positive change for ourselves and others by searching for the good things in our lives and proactively finding ways to add more of these positive elements to create a positive future.